Do you know what's great in life? Instagram growth tutorials. Do you know what's even better? Coffee. Today we're gonna go over four reasons why Alexis Ren, the infamous model on Instagram, grew to her millions and millions of followers with a coffee tutorial. Let's get Mom, what do you need? I need this one. All right, we're on a mission. What is up, Dharma Nation? Today, we're going to talk about an Instagrammer, of course. We're on a mission today to also get groceries at the same time. We're killing two birds with one stone. <laughs> so, last episode, I will link it below. I did a rice gum review edition on how he grew his social media. Today we're going to review Alexis Ren. To be honest, guys, you know how I say, like, the reason why you go on Instagram is either talent or some wizard marketing technique? Well, like, Alexis is just, like, a combination of everything it's like not practical to base your success off of like every single supermodel but we're gonna dive right in by the way the mission for today is getting milk my mom wants milk so as we're going there i will talk about how alexis ren grew on instagram and proof it's like a really freaky technique that her agency used who is alexis ren alexis ren is a instagram model with 11 a million followers that's what i meant and then she's actually just growing really fast and she used to date a guy named jay alvarez the reason why i mentioned why who she dated is because it had a huge role in her success they did break up and they still are both very successful and that's how it contributed to her success which i will get into if you're new here my name is jay dharma wangza i post videos here every single day because i'm obsessed with helping you grow on social media and i i just i do this every single day so like subscribe if you'd like honestly it truly mean the world to me and i'd really appreciate it shit i'm like oh shit i'm like really ahead of the line okay. so alexis ren actually kind of started instagramming before the algorithm, right? She's been on Instagram for a while. Hey, I'm trying to find a video of Alexis Rent to show you guys, but like literally if I show it to you, I will get demonetized. So we're just gonna like- So I looked on her social blade and it looks like she's going really steadily. I don't think like anyone bought her followers, but there is a sketchy technique I'm seeing with proof. But Alexis Rent is pretty successful. She has her clothing brand already now like i think it's an activewear brand she's probably making a lot of money so the con <laughs> the way i describe the content she creates uh it's like <clears throat> it's uh how do i explain it it's just like uh she dances naked a lot okay so <laughs> if you guys are into that but like she's actually just like a swimsuit model you could you could say model was, is model a good word for this i actually did a lot of research because i was filming this content for the app my app is launching this year it's all about how to grow your instagram a personal brand journey so i was filming content for it and actually i went over alexis red and i thought i'd share it out with you guys since the rice gum video did really well alexis dated a, another instagram model named jay as i said earlier they both have in combination a few million followers but they both again started when there was not that much competition they started in 2014 15. it's just all like before the algorithm them. and they were like the first people to establish like Instagram modeling like you don't have to be assigned to an agency to model like they were just like doing their own thing I think most of their success was contributed to the fact that they were first ones like they were basically one of the first people to Establish that industry and in, like travel photography too and, and because they were dating and because they were just such and you combine them together It was basically like a collab made in heaven like they were dating and they were, it was like a collab every single day They took photos a lot together. They're kind of scandalous they got the likes They got the views they got the attention of people because they were kind of like the first few people to do it um then they broke up <laughs> so one of the things though i wanted to point out that might shock you so if you go ever search on like alexis ren fan accounts there's just a there's a lot of fan accounts and i'm not saying she doesn't have genuine fans but it's a little suspicious because literally it's like alexis ren fan one two three four and then all of them have like quarter of a million followers and it's not that it's like it can't happen but it's a little suspicious oh my god there's a cop behind me Fuck. There's a cop behind me. I'm so scared. I feel like is vlogging illegal. I can't tell if vlogging's illegal. Woo! Okay, he's gone. No, he's right there. Ah! Oh, oh shit! Sorry, sorry. Does anyone else sometimes get really nervous, especially when you're vlogging and driving, and there's a cop behind you? Because <laughs> that's freaking scary. We're getting milk for my mom, by the way. So Alexis has like a lot of fan accounts, and I don't really think twice when I hear this like theory. There's proof that like this is probably super real. It was originally just like a concept, but I think there's so much proof behind it. So basically, these fan accounts are made by Alexis Ren or like her PR agency. They basically buy a lot of followers and post pictures of her to pretend like they're fake fan accounts. Every day, um, the software, the 
Instagram bot is basically interacting with potential fans and just like liking and commenting because if you ever like go on a fan account or like someone that's a fan account follows you, you kind of look at their posts and of course you look at their posts and then you look at who the, like the pictures are and of course it's gonna tag Alexis friend which drives traffic right back to her main account. So that was one of her strategies and I think it's quite realistic honestly. I found the milk. Ooh, okay, I've heard really good about like those nut pods. This looks pretty good. Okay, let's try it. So I'm feeling coffee. You guys know I'm super picky and I don't like coffee from anywhere. So we're gonna try a DIY version with a little bit of cold brew and the freaking creamer I just got, like this freaking nut pod. I know it's like sounds like a weird name, but like this sounds magical with the freaking cold brew. We got the coffee. We got the what? I literally asked for a cup of ice. We got the nut pod, which is like a dairy free creamer. Like I'm so brutally, brutally honest with my coffee, it hurts. Here's the tutorial on how to make my coffee. get back to Alexis and don't you worry I just want to give you value and this is important okay this but this is so good it's so thick and creamy 10 out of 10 make sure you use a lot it's not cheap I thought I was gonna save money from this I actually spent more money I could have got regular coffee so there's actually multiple theories or things I've looked into on why Alexis screw the first one I just mentioned was the fan account thing which I think is probably the most true second thing was we went over Jay Alvarez and her like she basically kind of uses followers or like I guess they use each other's followers to grow really well so the third thing I think Alexis is really good at is creating let's say content that's that's really intriguing well like she is a model and she posts like a lot of videos of her like dancing like naked and i guess people really like that if you can do that i'm sure you'll get instagram famous the real question is like how far do you want to go for the mentality of like young girls like obviously they're inspired by her or like maybe they like her body for fitness motivation since she is a model and then you can also look at guys who just really think she's hot i feel like there's her her like niche is so broad like she can track a lot of people and her content is like 10 second videos of her dancing which is like loopable and i always mention this but like loopable content or like bingeable content is the best type of form i think the fourth thing i want to mention that i also said briefly earlier like i just want to say like alexis like started before the algorithm she was already big before the algorithm when you're already good before you know the updates and the platform changes it's most likely that it's a lot she, it was easier to start back then like a lot of you guys are starting like in 2017 or right now like you even haven't started and like it's gonna be easier to start today than tomorrow it was easier to start yesterday than today but it's gonna be harder to start tomorrow than today. Does that make sense? Like, I feel like, like every day, Instagram and YouTube, Twitter, Snapchat, it's just gonna keep updating their platform, making it sure that the user is happy, not you. Like, Instagram's not a place for your followers to see your posts. Like, Instagram is a place for their platform to be more actively used. Like, if you guys don't realize, everyone's wondering if Instagram's gonna go back to a chronological feed. And I'm just like, no, they're not, because it's n they're making more money than ever by having the algorithm. Because I'm not sure if you guys agree, but the algorithm is quite nice when you think about it, if it's done right. Like, it's recommending photos to you, it's recommending things you'll like. <coughs> Right, guys i'm gonna go back home i have to do my to-do list for march and i will show you guys tomorrow it's gonna be quite long i have to make so much more content for the application just because i'm kind of like the lone wolf like it's just me right now so it's time to grind and i have a lot of stuff with coaching calls and new client works and i'm doing some merchandise for you guys so i'm creating that on top of everything on top of daily youtube videos it's hard okay it's a sunday and i'm getting this up to you when i could be sleeping on my ass okay are you kidding me? I am not gonna slack off on a weekend. If this is just a side rant, but like people have so many goals and ambitions, which is great. But like, what are you gonna do when you don't even work on the weekends? Like, I'm not talking about everyone, but the people that are like, I wanna make a million dollars next year. And you're like sleeping. Get off your butt, 
domination just some love after you watch this video i know it's really hard to grow as an instagrammer looking at so many successful people but the one thing i want you to realize it's not practical to compare yourself to a supermodel with a giant pr agency behind her i always say this and everyone's like how do i grow like this how do i grow like him her yeah. i'm just telling you you can't compare yourself it's gonna drag you down and i'd rather see you just implement now and figure it out as you go you're gonna be paralyzed and suffocated by looking at someone else's success when you can't compare yourself it's like comparing freaking like i don't even know like you're comparing beyonce to like jay darman walks just kidding so don't even be hard on yourself you guys are freaking impatient so domination much love but get off your butt and let's work together i love you all so so much make sure you like this video if it's good for you shout out to the comment winner shout out to the comment winner comment on this post to be featured in the next episode Comment below your favorite video on my channel so I can know which ones to make more of. If you like the story time videos of people's success, I will have more coming out for you for the personal brand app. It's going to be basically a lot of stories. So request people you want me to kind of scope down and expose. It's going to be good. Catch you in the next one. Goodbye. Also, check out my new podcast. I keep like plugging myself, but seriously, a podcast with my friend Reigns from Lativia. And he's also a marketer and influencer on social media. And it's so funny. It's the funniest podcast I've ever made. And it doesn't make sense, which might be fun. It's a 40-minute podcast. Check it out. Link below. Peace out. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye.